Hello, my name is Jay and welcome back to my tech vault. And unlike most of my videos I've done in the past, I have had no idea how the video ends up turning out. But I assure you, this video, this has probably been some of the best $30 I think I've ever spent. So first off, I want to talk a little bit about this machine if you're just joining us in. Um, this is a machine solely from yard sale parts. Um, I like going yard sailing, looking for cool stuff. And there's a lot of good deals in yard sale parts if you know what you're looking for. This machine here, um, first off, I want to make a couple of disclaimers. I am planning on giving this to my brother for his LAN PC, so I've updated and made things look a little bit nicer and swapped, or swapped out some of the hardware uh, or just some of the aesthetic stuff. Um, the main um, system itself, it has a motherboard, um, the CPU, the power supply, all the stuff was um, in yard sales, the um, motherboard, power supply, Fan cooler was 20 bucks, the graphics card was another 10 bucks, and it came with a case that's down here. But I swapped out the case, so technically everything there is 30 bucks. But I swapped out the case and put some fans in there because I am giving this to my brother, so I wanted it to look a little nicer. But all the performance is 30 dollars worth of hardware, and I can build a full working computer um, with the 30 bucks. I'm just swapping, sw switching it out so that I can give this to my brother for Christmas. So that's just one something I wanted to clear up, but it is still $30 worth of hardware and I can throw it, the case won't make a difference if I, or fans, if I swap out the case, it's still going to perform the same. So I've already benchmarked it. I, uh, I did PUBG and CSGO, both pretty decent games and I wanted to do those two just because they're kind of popular, especially at the moment. And so I assure you, this, this thing uh, blew my expectations uh, right out of the water. So previously in the past, I have actually benchmarked some other systems. I have a system, I don't know if you can see it over there. And that was an i5-650 uh, um, with a eight, four gigs of RAM, and it had the same graphics card and stuff, but the major, major bottleneck was the fact that the RAM just continuously um, bottlenecked. There wasn't enough RAM to play any games at. And so I was like, Phew. And so this would be what you would classify as a 100% dedicated gaming machine. You can't stream on it, you can't do any like, you know, workstation tasks on it, but it definitely does gaming. And so this has got 8 gigs of DDR3, and I'm trying to overclock it up to 1,600 right now, it's at 1,000, I think, uh, megahertz, so it's trying to overclock that up. Um, it's overclocked through 3.2 gigahertz, it's an i5-750, and then I've also got a GTX 660 in here. Okay, cooler. I'm gonna need a Wi-Fi card and some other stuff specifically because I'm giving it to my brother. So that's other other circumstances. Trying to build it into a LAN PC, I'll be getting a monitor and doing all that. That might be a separate video ma making the LAN PC. But just right now, for 30 bucks of hardware, I kind of want to make a video for all those people that go in my comments. They're like, "Hey, can you buy me a computer?" I'm like, "Well, it's 30 bucks, man. It would be more to ship this than it would be to actually build one yourself." And obviously, this is just. This has been, of course, over a year and a half that I've gotten all this hardware, starting with the graphics card a year ago, um, and then, you know, getting this motherboard recently, all motherboard, that was a really good deal, all that stuff um, recently. It just really is something you have to take time and sit down and, you know, look for stuff. Um, so this is basically what you call a common accumulating project of everything that I have done over the past year. So let's get into the benchmarking. And the benchmarking is the most exciting thing because for the benchmark, I'm running a 1080p monitor, um, a simple 1080p monitor, which is kind of what you'd be doing at this uh, level. Um, so the frame rates were quite impressive, especially because the settings that we were able to set them at was also very impressive. Uh, keep in mind, like when I had testing with the other system, I was getting a lot of, had to set PUBG at the lowest setting, and I was getting a lot of lag spikes, which are indicative, indi indicative of the fact that we were bottlenecking on the RAM uh, or CPU. Um, so we both upgraded the RAM and CPU this time. We've got 8 gigs and a higher clock speed and things like that. And of course, um, that definitely performed better. So the big question is really what are we going to expect when we do it and when we up with the upgrade stuff? Well, I got news for you. The settings were quite impressive, especially in CSGO and the frame rates on top of that very impressive as well. So I hope you'll watch this video, you know, see my reactions as it goes down live time. Um, and then of course we'll wrap up and, you know, we'll talk about, you know, my overall opinions. So let's get into it. This is PUBG boys. This is PUBG. And I want to take a moment to take a talk about the FPS we're getting. We are getting 60 FPS on a $30 system. Now, obviously, I could take, uh, we're not going to count the case because I have a case that was for the, um, 
same price of $30. Um, and yet we are still, I upgraded the case just for personal preference, not uh, just for looks. But if you want just raw performance, we are getting 60 FPS. And at settings, let's see what we got setting wise. We have settings of, we have medium, low, so take a look at this. We have, we're pretty much medium across the board and nothing is set to low. For 30 bucks, if you know what you're doing and you know when you have a little time to look on your own, 60 FPS for 30 bucks is not that difficult to get if you know what you're looking for. So that's what I want to take today is just a benchmark and show you guys this is pretty dang impressive. So let's get into a game. Let's take a look at that FPS counter and I'm actually insanely impressed. Like, this is something that I'm not expecting at all. Um, and the FPS, so like the last time we benchmarked a similar system, it was a $75 gaming PC. And well, the, the thing was, the there only had four gigs of RAM. And that was, I'm pretty sure, a big hindrance because constantly the um, graphics card was uh, kind of feeling bottlenecked by the amount of RAM that we had. And so it constantly was kind of downhill. And so what we have here now is we have something that's got a lot more RAM. And uh, it's now a lot better. Now I will say that we'll get dropping around to 40 FPS so um, around here in some areas. And obviously I can drop the settings a little bit more if I wanted to. Not a big deal. Uh, but it's still very playable. And if I drop the settings, and we got plenty of room to drop settings too. It's not like, um, it's not like we have... A hindrance on like hey we can't uh, drop settings any lower no we got plenty of room to drop settings so if you really want that crystal clear at 60 fps um, but I'm just gonna play what they recommend me for at the moment um, and just see how playable it is but just like taking a look around like this is not something that's I would like this looks very good um, like I have no problem whatsoever playing this this is not laggy um, there's no lag spikes. This is a very balanced system. Um, yeah, very balanced system. So I'm not concerned at all. Uh, Cause sometimes you get like a system, as I said, the four gigs of RAM is going to bottleneck on PUBG. Um, but the biggest concern is, um, right now it's just loading. So load times are also something to keep in mind. This is running on an SSD or a hybrid drive, a uh, terabyte. Um, so that, uh, just keep that in mind. Uh, I'm on a little team of people and I feel bad for these people because I don't know I'm just gonna go look around and see if I can fool around as I said I haven't played this game in like I think a year so um, I probably should get into it if I'm going to be benchmarking uh, I'm thinking where we where are we all drop it I'm thinking we'll just drop over here I have to I'll just let's get the full parachute experience okay did they already drop a marker I'm trying to see let's see where'd you drop your marker man yep they're dropping the marker over here okay I claim uh, this building and um, yeah, we'll go take for a drop. So honestly, it's right now at the moment, just such an, uh, like what you expect is not, this is like totally not what you expect. Um, when for 30 bucks, if you're able to get this, this is kind of, this kind of gameplay experience, it's, it just shows that like people that go on and like complain that they don't have a good enough computer um, and that they, they, you know, need some help or something. And then we got a little lag spike there. I did notice that. Uh, not necessarily, you know, you don't have enough money. It's just, you just don't have the, put some time and effort in to uh, uh, get it in there. A lot of cool things. I like the, just noticing that slowly. But I mean, honestly, it looks really nice. We'll see how well the gameplay performance gets down there in a second. Um, okay. Oh, yes. They've, they've updated this a lot. And... That works better off. Ooh, comp. Okay. 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 This was not 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 really the best thing I was looking for today. Full gameplay to to know that. Um, so I'm gonna switch over to CS, uh, um, CSGO and we'll try some of that. <laughs> oh my gosh! Um, so we got 120 FPS. I'm just going to find something at the moment and uh, play some game of some kind. Hi! What? Hi? Huh? How? 
Okay. Um, very high. Yep, just just fooling around. Y'all get to watch me learn how to play this game. 80, 70 FPS, mm, decent. But anyway, we're getting like a solid 60 FPS at the moment, so I'm not too concerned. So for 30 bucks, I was able to build a machine that played PUBG at medium settings for 60 FPS. At 60 FPS, I was able to build a machine that played CS:GO at 120 FPS at max settings. I mean, they. It just blows my mind that people will pay pre-builds that will not even perform this this well. Like, brand new pre-builds that will not perform this well. So, I just wanted to say that if you're out there and you're like, hey, I want to build a, or I want to get a gaming PC, you can be like, I don't know, you can be like, I don't know, I wish I was like maybe 14 or something. You're like, you want to save up and get a gaming PC. You sit down, you know where to look, you do your research. You can find something like this. This is not. This was not difficult. It just took patience. It took me a year to do all this stuff, and obviously, a year is a long time. But thirty bucks is something you can easily save in a year. And trust me, with a budget of slightly more, I'd probably uh, maybe update the graphics card. I'm sure a 1050 Ti wouldn't bottleneck anything. Um, you throw that in there, you'd be getting able to play at like much better uh, frame rates and things like that. Um, as I said, everything else I don't see an issue with right now. It's it's a really good, solid, like balanced machine. Um, not any bottlenecks, not anything like that. It's just a really solid machine. Um, so this was a lot of fun because when I first put this computer down, I assembled it. I was like, okay, this seems pretty balanced. We got a 660. We got all this. Okay, it seems pretty balanced. And I throw it in there, and I was expecting something you know mediocre. I was like, okay, it'll probably be. You know, something that doesn't perform that well. Maybe we're getting low settings and stuff like that. No, it, it, it blew my expectations really, really far. Um, so I'm going to be doing another video probably where I assemble this and put this together as an OEM machine. Uh, get a monitor. I'm probably going to mount a monitor on the back. Um, I'll get the Wi-Fi card attached, things like that. And then, um, yeah, I'll be giving it to my brother uh, for Christmas. You guys can maybe get a reaction video of that as well. And then uh, that's going to kind of wrap it up for this series of uh, a budget PC, kind of the whole going from start to finish. Um, but I really just wanted to make this video because it's such a really cool experience to be able to do something like this for budget for 30 bucks that is definitely within the reach of anybody out there. Uh, it's just 30 bucks. And um, that's what can get you a gaming PC that can play your games um, really well. So, I mean, it just... I appreciate everyone that's watched this far, and I think that's why most people watch these videos, is just to kind of get inspired that, hey, you can do this too. You can build your own gaming PC for pretty cheap. And I especially inspire, you know, especially those younger kids that are watching, maybe 13, 14 or so, um, my youngest demographic, that really want to build something like this. It's not that hard to do. You just got to sit down and know where to look. There's a lot of websites. Um, there's especially a yard sale app finder um, that you can like sort and filter the um, keywords. So if you just put in like computer parts or something, it'll show up as a different dot. And you just search for those and you can find those and then you just go to those yard sales. Um, so there's just a lot of cool background information that like you can do a lot of research. Craigslist is something that's, that's I would say is caution is a little bit more difficult. Um, there's some computer recycle stores uh, that will also do it, some charities. It's just you got to know where to look. And then once you find those places to look, you just got to be patient. And eventually those good deals will come to you. Um, I've also like there's also been a couple other ways that I could have gotten stuff. But for now, this is just a, a very impressive machine, especially because it beat the $75 PC that I did last time by performance and quality of settings by a long shot. So this is definitely going to be my crowning jewel on this channel is the fact that I was able to do a budget per PC for $30 that performed out of this world. So thank you very much for watching. If you have comments, questions, please go down below in the uh, comment section and do that. Also check out my Discord server if you want to talk to me, ask questions there as well. And uh, thank you very much for watching. This was very fun to record and uh, goodbye.